So we're going to do Sunny Beach now, and then later Horror Coast. Is it me? Or was Colossus a really bad name for the last area? Because is the Yeti called Colossus? Was the mount or the mountains called Colossus? I don't understand why it was called that. It should have been called something like alluding to mountains, something peak, you know, something, you know, mountains. <laughs> mountains would have been fine. Snowy capped peak, snow capped peak. Oh, uh, yeah. This is the one that gave me stress anxiety. This shit. Deal with dumbass kids. And they just try and get themselves fucking killed because they're idiots. So what's more important to me is getting paid. See if they're all dead. Oh, they take two hits because of their rubber ring. <laughs> That's funny. And like these chests are filled with turtles that are literally trying to steal for profit and to eat. So, that's nice. Not opening that yet. They really underutilize charging. Always using the flame. This was in the demo. This in a world two level that's like lava based. Cause yeah, that makes sense. Demos were always wild though back in the day. Ah, uh, oh my eye, fuck happened. It's a nice enough environment. Oh, I need to get help. <laughs> there you go. Got more gems. Luckily, it it kind of frames it like it's an escort mission, but you can see here they're just dumbasses that run to the next gate. Then a turtle stands on the thing, uh, and they run off again, and you have to go stop them from being assholes. But it's really a case that they just go stand by the next gate, and nothing bothers them again. More ladders. She knows I want to put in there. Save the turtles by killing the starfish. And the penguins.
as you can see here. Oh. Maybe you could get off your fucking ass. <laughs> your fucking kids. Rude. Gates. That was the big thing of this this game was that you were getting the power up gates. You know that was the thing. It's basically just again, you notice a lot of these last minute of, uh, objectives are go back through the level, you will have seen these things that seem mighty suspicious. Yeah, go deal with those now. Oh no. No. Yeah. Good. And that's just basically the whole thing, you know. Oh, there's one right there. Or we'll do that one. I thought there was, I'm just blind. Okay, keep your secrets. Uh, yeah, it was just, uh... What was I even talking about? Yeah, this game has a lot of weird... A lot of weird stuff, but it, it's, it's interesting and different. And it brings stuff to the table that, like, feels like what the game needed. Oh. They, they want to kill me. Still a flat texture a little bit. Uh, I can't handle it. Uh, yeah, it's just that was the anxiety mini game. If you were wondering, that's the anxiety mini game. Fuck you, got the thing. Fuck you. No, this is still trash. Laughing is just fuck you levels. Do you think I have a HD remaster Croc? I don't know if anyone cared enough about Croc for it to get that treatment. Okay. I didn't want that starfish, shut up. And you can tell the levels because of all these objectives and me going back and forth. I'm not just running through the level picking up treasure, I'm going back and forth, you know. And they always say this. A lot of them just say the same thing. Please take this talisman as a token of our gratitude. Then they give you a pointless MacGuffin. And then they open the portal so you can actually leave this hellish hellscape. But you see how much of this game is like return back here later to do a frustrating mini game twice. One for one orb, one for another orb, and you're like, oh. I say, like, yep. Yeah. Now go through the whole level and break open the things, and you're like, 
I mean, look at these monstrosities. They're not born without shells and with nappies on. I'm sorry, diapers. God. Turtles are disturbing as fuck. Yeah. You can see there's a lot of like, if it weren't for the challenges, you axe the challenges of these games with the power up relationship. You can imagine that they'd just be as fast as Spyro 1, where you're just going through them like they're nothing, you know? What a fodder enemy you're in. Towers. That's also already though. You think like that. This is. I mean, there were more worlds. I think inspired like more hub worlds. You know. So that was a literal example of a paywall. By the way, this is an example of a paywall and gatekeeping. But more the more the pain of paywall. Literal paywall. There are more levels per world in this game than the uh, than the first game, but there are less worlds because there's summer forest, and there's spring and autumn or fall or whatever. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's called autumn in my country, but they probably in America call it fall because they can't deal with people calling things anything that could relate to French. But also because the leaves fall, <laughs> and they're just like. Oh, it's called fall, because the leaves fall. <laughs> Jocks be nerds, am I right? Uh, there's like whole com comic things, like a lot of Americans are like, ha ha ha, take the piss out of British because they have a weird accent. Segregation, you say? He's an electoral. I <laughs> get it, because glasses. Can't see it without my glasses. I used to hate that stereotype. Okay, what was I saying? Yeah, like, the, the constant war between the British and the Americans about uh, the way they speak and how each one is, like, kind of shitty to the other about things like that, and it's just, like, it's such a pointless thing, but, like, there are literal co comics in my country that exist. Um... <clears throat> You are just taking the piss about how Americans have to have every noun that in our country replaced with a simpler noun for them to fully understand what's going on because their level of education just is lower. <laughs> All the average intelligence is just beneath them. Like the the popular culture one is the fact that we had to change philosopher's stone to sorcerer's stone for American release for Harry Potter because. Americans are like, what's a philosopher? I'm like, mm-hmm. Uh, but, like, I honestly think they're just dumbing it down way too much for the average American. And we are taking the piss out of what is essentially... We've got to, like, you know, cater to the dumbest of assholes. The ones who are like, I don't know no words above fucking three syllables. And you're thinking there are literally British people who are like that too. So it's just like the dumbassery 
you know, the attitudes towards catering towards dumbassery are more at stake here. It's like, you know. But the fact that, you know, we call it a bin to put our rubbish in, and they're like, nah, it's a trash bin, <laughs> trash thing. We gotta save the trash before it so we know what to put in it. Like, okay. It's a waste paper basket. Oh, shit, I was gonna put this perfectly fine paper in it. What the fuck is wrong with you? No, it's just for waste paper. Okay, sure. <laughs> Can I put my cup in it? That's paper too. Yeah, that one's fine. What about this plastic cup? No, it's for my waste paper. Say so, okay. <laughs> I just assume that that's how Americans are. <laughs> Even though I know Americans and I know they're not like that. It's just the assumption that like everything is dumbed down because there's there must be a American out there who is catered to to the point and handheld to the point that like the system is literally changed for him because he's or her because they are so fucking stupid and it's like every American I've met though is actually not stupid and that's what gets to me oh man It's hard though. I don't want to do hard things. I got it. Oh, he's coming for me. Oh, no. I can't see him. Where am I even taking them? I don't even understand what you want from me. I just wasn't listening. Oh, no, I remember this shit. You put them in and he nicks them. Look at him, the little... <laughs> I'm fucking your shit up. You could just do that. Did they come back? They must come back, right? Oh... Don't. God, the nerd stereotype in basically everything from the 50s to like the 90s and early aughts was such a fucking tired trope. To the point that there's still people my age going, hey, you're wearing glasses. That must mean that you're really good at maths and are really fucking weak and cowardly. If you take your glasses off, you go blind, and you're like, How are there still this many people so fucking uneducated about fucking glasses? My sight shit. That does not mean I like reading. Does not mean I'm good at maths. It means my sight shit. Oh my god, I just, every time you're like, really? Really? We're gonna have this conversation. You seem like you're intelligent, because you're wearing glasses, and you're like, oh, here we go. How do you spell scissors? And you're like, oh my fucking god. I'm not intelligent, you don't know how to live. <laughs> I think, you know, like, maybe that's just perspective, you know? I've never been intelligent, though. Holy shit, people are just dumb. People just dumb. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's really annoying when they're like, you're intelligent. It's like, no, I think you're the problem in this. I don't know how you people survive, because I'm a dumbass. This guy makes a living off of being a dick. They seem to go away. Once I've annihilated them. Yeah, that, that stereotype just really pissed me off because, you know, everyone going, oh yeah, I'm so much stronger than you. You're not a threat because you're wearing glasses. That me, I'm basically going to take the piss out of you for a clear disability. Oh yeah, that means I'm stronger than you. Oh, then why can't you stop me kicking your ass then? 
Oh yeah, you're so strong. <sighs> I think the phrase is entitled weakling. Oh, look at this dick. And now, nowadays, most people have sight problems from over the use of the screens. And that's the irony, right? Okay, I can see why this is annoying. Again, this is barely gameplay, is it? It's like... It's literally me going back and forth, stopping this asshole from fucking things up. Coming back and finding he's fucked it up again. Barely content. Anti-content. Oh, well, yeah. And they really like this spit mechanic. It shows up in like every other level. They were really happy with this. They got projectiles working and they were like, yeah, look, we can make projectiles. Okay, make a hundred mini games about projectiles. Okay. It will be repetitive and unfun after about 10 levels. Nah, it's fine. We also got the superpowers that were also overused massively. Oh my god. Good. Good. Go to hell. Thief. Although, to be fair, they could just be saying, no, fuck the Industrial Revolution, we refuse to have electricity, so... Return to monk. Return to monkey. Reject modernity. I have spare one now. Oh, I am so sick of this fucking shit. Oh my god. No. And yeah, I reckon I just have to kill them ten times and they all stop. But like, oh my god, how do I get out of this nightmare? Oh no, we're not doing this minigame shit. Oh, let's just get through the level. Holy crap. You're bogged down on boring ass repetitive hard mini games for no reason. Haha, <laughs> broke your fucking windmill. Ow. Oh. Open the door. The door, the door, yeah? I forgot everything, which I do not. Oh no, this this level has supercharge in it too. It just has all my least favorite things. I mean, it's not a bad environment. I'll give it that. Oh, a gem. Oh, death. Oh, hacks. Hacks, I call hacks. Fine. Yeah, god damn it. You know, intelligence has always been one of those weird things where if you're intelligent, you never really see yourself as intelligent. You know what I mean? There's very few people I know who are actually very intelligent people who don't actually believe of themselves as intelligent. And I think that's the problem, right? Most people just assume that theirs is the baseline because it's what they perceive like, I don't have problems doing these things, therefore no one else does. And if you don't, how can you do basic shit like feed yourself? Because to be quite frank, it's basically the same level. And it causes this kind of total bafflement when you meet people who can't 
spell basic shit in their first language or can barely do simple arithmetic or don't barely even read or like take great pride in the fact that they don't read and have never done any physical exercise in school. You just sat there like, really? Because to me that just sounds like you're like a bit of an asshole, like, you know, like maybe not a bad person per se, but just a bit like weird that you think that's something to be proud of is just very strange to me. Oh, I do have one. I was going to get zapped. And I, I'm not an intelligent person, but then you meet some people and you're like, how do you function? He's called, of course he's called Brainy. He's small and has glasses, so he's Brainy. That's how that works. Yeah, you know, I just... I think that's the problem that people don't understand is like, I don't think of myself as intelligent. I was tested multiple times when I was younger and given ridiculous IQ scores like, I think the highest was 150. I think uh, another one that was a different one said 135, which is like, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not small. Oh no, I turned it off, is that bad? You know? I think the thing is, I just assume what I'm doing is, ah, oh, it's for platforming, I see. <clears throat> Glad I know how to get up there. Yeah, and I think the problem is you never really, most people, I think, don't really see themselves as more or less intelligent. They just see themselves as, well, I'm barely functioning. And I'm this level. And then you see other people asking really dumb things and you're just like, you know, and as you get older, you become less of a prick about it, so it's fine. I don't know why I went down here. I was aiming for a windmill and I lost track of where it was. And, you know, you stop being such an elitist dick about shit. But, like, um, when you're young or in your teens, you're like, really? You don't know this. How do you not know this? How are you not embarrassed that you don't know this? You know, and just, like, you, you become a bit of a dick about it, I have to admit. And... But when you get older, you're like, you know what, it doesn't fucking matter, you know, you meet some people and they just don't know shit because it's like, well, why would they need to know that shit, to be fair? And it's like, maybe they don't use that day to day, you don't know them. Yeah. Glad I'm turning off all these windmills. Oh, I have to, mm, that's probably how I get back now. That's a bad one though, I have to do some platforming for that. Then go all the way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, robbed. Yeah, and you know, it's like, it's a lot of what people, like, I, I, I've spoken about IQ on another AOP, I'm pretty sure before. The thing about IQ is people think it means you are automatically super intelligent because you have a high IQ, which is not what IQ is. IQ is just, it's easier for you to do this thing. Like, you, you pick up stuff faster, but only specific things in specific fields. Like, you can be, like, creative smart, like, scientifically smart, book smart, you know. Practically minded, you know, hands-on experience kind of guy. And, uh, or girl. And, oh, please, no. Handles like a shopping trolley. Spyro the shopping trolley. It's just so like. We put this building here. Calling city council. Um. Yeah, and you you, you just like you don't want to be a 
dick. So you're not, as you get older, but like, uh, please, no. Oh. Glad that they kept this faithful to the original. Uh, yeah, it's like, yes, good, burn, haha. <laughs> oh, I thought you were a thief. So you're saying electric stealers. That's what I'm hearing. Oh, do you mean? Oh no, those are the other guys. A lot of thieves on this island. Please, Spyro, platform. Seriously, nothing? Okay. Yeah, it's like, um. It's like having quite a high level of, like, strength. Oh, fuck. You know, like, it's like, you know, how would I explain that? Like, in terms of genetics being genetically quite, like, capable of building muscle mass quickly, if you never use that, like me, for example, like, I have a high IQ, apparently, although it's probably turned into garbage now because I don't do anything with it. And, um, you know, it just means, like, I could pick stuff up if I bothered, but I'm a lazy asshole, so it's just like, that shit never happens, you know what I mean? It's just like, I, I don't even find a lot of learning interesting, there's only certain things I find interesting, and I'm one of these people who, if it's not interesting, I don't pay attention and shut up, like, completely shut off from it. Questions about showing down effect. Yay, one of those many things I got. Oh no. Ram out press the action button. I did it. This is five stars and I couldn't do the four star one. Yeah, it's like, you know, you, like, for example, you meet people all the time who say, I come from a really strong family, and I'm really strong, and my entire family is really strong, and they're like 10 stone, 10 ton lard asses who don't get out of bed any day of the week and are fucking lazy as shit. They've not gone to the gym for years or at all, and they're like, yeah, yeah you better watch out for me, I'm really strong, and they're like, but you're not. Because <laughs> you have the potential and you're frittering it away, you know what I mean? It's the same with me. I, I have potential and I'm like, nah, man. Oh, balls. I did it. Five stars, my ass. God. I got all the gems. This, these people are annoying me. Could have solved the problem if you weren't a coward. So for some reason we're collecting these things and nobody in the entire world, they find them in comical places for like different flavor texts. But they seem to be valueless, shiny pieces of trash that the professor only wants in a kind of tangential way. Where he's like, oh yeah, if you want me to power them, you better go find these thingies. And you're like, well, why are they just scattered around the world? Why wouldn't you make your gateway powered on something that's not just random kinder eggs found around the world, you know? Oh, whatever. Yeah, IQ is like that. IQ is like the grease, you know, the, between the wheels. It helps you learn things better. It means you have a good potential for capacity to learn. But it doesn't mean that you're like 
automatically intelligent. Oh, I get it. Now you're the bullies, and it's funny because bullying. <laughs> hey, I'm just getting revenge, man. It's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being a bit of a negative asshole. Oh, geez, that was half an hour as well. See what I mean? It's like two levels. It's going much slower, this one. I was doing whole worlds in half an hour for Spyro 1. Oh, about an hour per world in the end it turned out to be. I want to keep going. It's half ten. Okay, I better have a break and have a drink anyway. And find the next thing. We've got the, uh, the speedway, which is different from the flight levels because it engages in flight and speed like the supercharged shit. So, you know, my two favorite things. And we have that Aquarius Tower one, which I'm probably not going to do straight away because I don't like it. So we'll do this next. Next part.